welcome to EPG Patsala. Uh, today we will uh, discuss about search engines, concept, types of search engines, and meta, meta search engines and the advantages of using search engines under the paper information communication and technology. Uh, so basic objectives. So in this model uh, we will provide you uh, an understanding the basics of search engines and their evaluation how the search engines work and the components of a search engine. We will also discuss about the categories of search engines and what are the search techniques that can be used in search engines. Uh, we will discuss about the meta search, metadata and the search engines and evaluation of search engines and we will take on a few examples of important search engines. So uh, the internet can be said to be the most exhaustive, important and useful source of information in almost all aspects of knowledge hosted on millions of servers connected to internet around the world. So the world wide web started in 1992 with few pages and links has grown to it trillions of pages. So the first uh, Google index in 1998 had 26 million pages and it touched the mark of 1 million by 2000. In mid 2008, it touched a new milestone with 1 trillion of unique URLs. So with availability of such excessive information, it has become very difficult for a common user to search for precise and relevant information on the internet. To tackle this situation, computer scientists came up with such tools that search through the information on the internet to discover the required information by the user. So uh, that basic definition of search engine, uh, a search engine can be defined as a uh, tool for finding, classifying and storing information on various websites on the internet. It can help in locating information of relevance on a particular subject by using various search methods. It is a service that indexes, organizes and open rates and reviews websites. It helps users to find the proverbial needle in the internet hashtag. So uh, Google, Yahoo, Bing are few examples of common search engines that index and search a significant part of the web. Search engines use automated programs uh, variably called the boards, robots, spiders, crawlers, wanderers and worms developed to search the web. The robots transfer the web in order, in order to index the websites. Some of them index websites by title, some of uh, them by uniform resource locators that is URLs and some by uh, words in each document in a website and some by combination of all of these. So the search engines function in different ways and search different parts of the internet. Different search engines work on different ways. Uh, websites or web pages, uh, others use uh, softwares to identify key information on sites across the internet. Some combine both types of service such a searching internet with different search engines for the same topic therefore provide different search results. Uh, evolution of search engine. So basically we will discuss about the early search tools uh, that came up in the 90s. So in 90s, the Archi was developed by Alan M. Tays. Uh, it's the first search engine that, uh, used, that was used for indexing and searching files on FTP server. Uh, in 1993, uh, Veronica, that is the abbreviation of very easy rodent oriented netwide index to computerized archives, was developed at the University of Nevada to search all menu items on Gopher servers. Soon, very soon another user interface named Jughead appeared with the same purpose as Veronica. The Jughead uh, was a powerful Gopher search tool written by Red John G. Jones. Uh, it was a computer program that searched a specified Gopher site, not the, all the sites. It searched direct, uh, directory titles only not the text of the resources that appeared on the Gopher uh, submenus. Uh, after the launch of uh, World Wide Web in 1993, the first robot called World Wide Web Wanderer was introduced by Matthew Gary to search the web. Uh, 
in 1993, uh, uh, Artisan uh, Coaster developed an Archie-like indexing tool for the web called AliWeb. It did not use a robot to collect the metadata. Instead, it allowed the users to submit the websites they wanted to be indexed by AliWeb in their own with their own descriptions and the keywords. By December 1993, three full-fledged uh, uh, robot paid search engines have surfaced, surfaced on the web. Uh, like those are the Jump Station, the World Wide Web OM, and the repository-based software engine that is RBSB, RBSE Spider. Jump Station gathered information about the title and header from the web pages and retrieved them using a simple linear search. As the web page grew, jump stations uh, slowed to a stop. The www.wam index titles and URLs. The jump station and the World Wide Web OM did not use any ranking method to list their search results. Results were displayed in the order they were found. The RSP Spider did implement a ranking system. The EINet uh, Galaxy Web Directory was launched in January 1994 and the EINet Galaxy became a success since it also contained Gopher and Telenet search features in addition to its web search feature. In April 1994, Yahoo was launched. Uh, on 20th April 1994, web crawler uh, that was the first crawler uh, that indexed entire web pages by University of Washington. In the same year, in July, Lycos was uh, launched and it has indexed over 60 million documents more than any other web search engine. Info, uh, uh, in 1995, InfoSeq was launched and Netscape started using InfoSeq as its default search engine. So, uh, next in 1999, Go Network released by Disney and Fast released its search technology in the same year and was considered the closest competitor to Google. But in 2000, Teoma search engine released which, was, uh, which uses the clustering to organize sites by subject specific popularity. In 2001, Ask Jibs bought uh, uh, Teoma to replace the direct hit search engine. Uh, in 2002, LookSmart bought the Wisner search engine to power their new search product. And in 2003, Google began to introduce semantic elements and Overture purchased all the web and AltaVista. Yahoo bought Inktomi and Overture in the same year. In 2004, MSN dropped LookSmart in favor of Inktomi and Yahoo dumped Google in favor of its own search engine. Yahoo has built a uh, new database separate from the Inktomi database that replaced both AltaVista and the, all the web. And Microsoft began a transition to its own search technology powered by its own web crawler. In 2009, uh, Bing search, search engine was launched. Uh, and in the same year, in July, Yahoo and Microsoft finalized a deal in which Yahoo uh, search was provided, uh, was powered by Microsoft Bing technology. So uh, let's now discuss about the how the search engines works. Okay. Uh, so search engines do not really search the World Wide Web directly. Instead, they search their own database consisting of keywords of full text of web pages that were earlier selected and picked up from billions of web pages residing on the servers all over the world. When a uh, user searches the web using a search engine, it always searches on old copy of the real web page that is residing on their uh, uh, server of the search engine. When a user clicks on the link provided in a search engine uh, search results, uh, he or she is directed to the current version of that web page. The components of a search engine, uh, typically a search engine has uh, three components. Uh, first one is the robots or spiders, second one is the database, and third is the user interface. Now let's go to the categories of uh, search engines. Based on the functioning of search engines, uh, the cat search engines can be 
uh, categorized into uh, six major types. One is primary search engine, uh, second is meta search engine, third is specialized search engine, fourth is subject or web directories, fifth is hybrid search engines, and lastly the subject gateways or the subject portals. Now let us discuss one by one. Uh, so the primary search engine. Uh, primary search engines uh, deploy computer programs called the web crawler or spiders, web wanderers and web worms to transfer the web and scan the websites for words, pages or the whole website so as to generate a database of web pages. The search engines do not actually search the web in real time but uses that database of web page collected by its three robots, hypertext hyper links that are updated on a regular basis. The primary search engines are the most commonly used search engines. Primary search engines can also be divided into four categories uh, like the automated based on the automated robots, uh, designated robots, breadth oriented search engines and depth oriented search engines. Now next is meta search engines. Uh, a meta search engine is uh, defined as a search engine that searches the database of several other search engines at the same time to locate web pages that ma match search terms given by a user. Unlike the primary search engines and directories, meta search engines do not have their own databases that is they, uh, the search engine do not collect web pages, uh, do not accept URL additions and do not classify or review the website. Instead, they send the queries simultaneously to multiple search engines and uh, or the web directories and retrieve the results. Many of the meta search engines integrate search results uh, uh, using the duplicate findings uh, are merged into one entry. Some of them rank the results according to various criteria and some allow selection on search engines to be searched. Ask Jeeves, Metacrawler, Sebi Search are some of the well known meta search engines. Then subject or web directories. Uh, directory are the directories are the yellow pages of the internet. They contain information that has been submitted to them by their indexers or by users who submit entries. The subject directories are open manually maintained, browsable and searchable web based in, uh, through web based interfaces. So Yahoo is one of the most uh, famous subject directory. Next is the hybrid search engines. Uh, in the early days of the web, a search engine either uh, presented crawl crawler based search results or human power, power listings. Uh, today it is extremely common for search engines to present both types of results. So usually a hybrid uh, search engine will favor one type of listing over the another. Uh, subject gateways and subject portals. Subject gateways variably called a meta resources, subject based information gateways, subject based gateways or subject index gateways, virtual libraries, clearing houses, subject trees, pathfinders and guide to internet resources and this facilitates uh, that uh, this facilitates it is that allow users access the network based resources in a defined subject area. A subject portal can be defined as an organized and structured guide to internet based electronic information resources that are carefully selected after a predefined process of evaluation and filtering in a subject area or a subject speciality. So the usefulness of search engine. Uh, the usefulness of a search engine can be access, uh, can be assessed using some of the criteria like uh, ease of access, comprehensiveness, the quality of the content, the control over the search and flexibility in searching, assessment uh, of relevance and the informative presentation of the results. So now let us discuss in detail about each, each one. So ease of use, uh, most search engines provide a single search window for input of search terms, search engine query its databases for search terms keyed in by the user. Some search engine have the capability of understanding natural languages. So the most uh, easier to use the search engine that is most effective. And then the comprehensiveness, uh, what is the coverage of a search engine, 
of what it index, uh, whether it index the full text of the document or not, that, uh, that is the one of the criteria for the usefulness of search engine. Mm -hmm. Then quality of content, uh, search engines are increasingly paying atten attention to techniques that address the issues of quality content. Relevant and qualitative uh, search results may be given higher weights than speed and size of search engines. Uh, the results of search processing uh, combined with matching of search terms generate a relevant score to be used in ranking of search results. Uh, the correctness of the information in the database, particularly working links, is another as aspect of the quality of search engine control over the search. Uh, in case of uh, complex search queries, a capability for specifying search parameters in detail becomes very important. A user uh, should be able to combine multiple search terms with uh, is Most search engines uh, usually allow users to specify how search terms are combined either by typing the search string using the Boolean terms like AND, OR, AND NOT in the search window or giving equivalent functionality via drop down menus. And flexibility in searching. Uh, advanced search features in some of the search engines provide the flexibilities like provision to restrict the search to specific fields that is the title, description, keywords, links or body, etc. A provision to restrict a search, in search to a specified time period and the provision to search for uh, similar documents if a user finds something useful and the provision to search within the results of a previous search. Uh, then assessment of relevance. Uh, a good search engine should uh, take quality of resources into account while ranking search results. So search engines display the search results either by using the frequency of keywords used in the web page or positioning of keywords in the web page that is title, description or body etc. and frequency of inbound, inbound links from other website. Irrespective of ranking mechanism, a user uh, would prefer to see document relevant to him or her search in the first view of search result. Informative presentation of the results. A search engines should record uh, number of feeds found for a search a user would prefer to get enough information to judge the usefulness of a link before following it. So most search engines take some portion of the text to provide an abstract and dates are often uh, also very useful in the search uh, results. Uh, uh, searching the web, the search technology, technol techniques that are used for the searching the web. So most search engines uh, offer two types of interfaces to search their database, that is the basic search and advanced search. In a basic search, a user just uh, key in his or her search term without uh, shifting uh, through the, uh, uh, the pull-down uh, pull menus for additional op options. So full feature search engines have options to e expand or limit search in a variety of ways. Uh, basic search offer uh, basic search uh, where a dialog box or a, uh, a pen or a uh, dialog line where search terms can be keyed in followed by options to either submit or clear the search appears. A user enters a, key, uh, enters a word or words called the keywords or search terms that he or she would like to search. The search engine then looks through its indexes in the database for the matches. Next is the advanced search. Advanced search options differ from the from search engines to search engine, but some of the common features include ability to search on one or, uh, or search on more than one word, to confine the search to a specific specific field, or to exclude words that are not required by a uh, uh, in a search by the user. Uh, Boolean operators. Uh, many search engines allow the use of uh, Boolean operators AND, OR, and NOT to narrow or broaden a request. Boolean operators allow us to connect the concepts of our search query in meaningful ways so that a user can retrieve relevant search results. Operator 
and AND is uh, used to narrow the search results to two terms combined with operator AND. The operator OR is used to broaden the search results to any of the two terms combined with the operator OR. The operator NOT is used to eliminate terms from the search results. Uh, it is uh, generally used to exclude a particular term from the search results given after the NOT operator. And not operator should not be used to should be used with uh, caution as it uh, uh, might result in elimination of re relevant results from the search query. And next is the phrase searching. Uh, the ability to uh, query a phrase uh, uh, is very important in a search engine. A phrase is a group of words that must appear next to each other in a specified order. So, uh, phrase searches are specially uh, useful when searching the famous sayings or the proper names. To indicate a uh, phrase, uh, um, generally it, uh, it is surrounded in double quotation marks and phrase searching is one of the best search features that can be used to increase the chance of retrieving relevant results. Next is the proximity searching. Uh, proximity operators are generally used to specify the relative location of words in a document. These operators facilitate searching for words that must be in the same phrase or paragraph or sentence in a record. For example, a search may require uh, that two concepts be in the same sentence but not necessarily next to each other or in a phrase. Uh, one such operator is near which means that the terms uh, that are entered should be within a certain number of words to each other. So, near uh, allows the terms. Uh, for example, uh, a search for uh, library near automation would retrieve documents containing library automation and automation of libraries in both ways. So, the other uh, uh, operator that is used is followed by which means uh, that one term must be followed by the other term. Uh, then use of parenthesis. Uh, most search engines permits the use of parenthesis to group related terms. This is particularly used for uh, clustering synonymous or for searching specific terms together before other terms are searched. Parenthesis may be used uh, in combination with other search te techniques. And another technique is the truncation or wildcards. Uh, truncation is a technique that facilitates search for multiple endings of a word. It is also called stemming uh, and most search engines that support this feature use certain symbols called the wildcards like the star or the question mark or the hash symbol at the end of the word uh, to indicate a truncation, truncated search. Uh, then case sensitivity. Uh, case sensitivity refers, uh, refers to the ability of search engines to dis distinguish between the upper and lower case operators. Most search engines are not case, case sensitive and uh, will uh, simply read all the letters as, royal, uh, as the lower cases. Uh, others may distinguish, uh, distinguish between the uh, words like uh, ads and the disease AIDS uh, using the lower case is advised because lower case is always retrieve the upper case as well. Then field searching. Uh, web pages are uh, made up of different parts of field uh, parts or the fields. Several search engines can limit a search to a specific uh, area of a web page. This technique uh, basically helps to increase the relevance of search results. The help section of search engines uh, that support field searching would describe about the fields that may be searched through the search engine. The actual field names may differ from search engine to search engine. The next the uh, evaluation of uh, search engines. So, evaluation of search engine is a process of identifying and collecting the data about search engines and establishing a criteria by which their success can be accessed. So, evaluation of a search engine should de uh, determine both the, their quality and the degree to which uh, it has accomplished its uh, stated goals and the objectives. Joe Barker uh, the, from University of Cal California has identified some criteria for evaluation of search engines for three different components of a search engine. 
the first component is the evaluation of database of web documents uh, that is the size of database and method of compilation. So, how many documents does the search engine claims to have means uh, how big they are having their database, uh, how much of total web can be searched using a search engine uh, means what is the content that can be searched, uh, what is the size of the content and how is the index uh, compiled that is the method of collection whether it is uh, completely automated uh, indexing or any human input has been uh, given for collection of those documents indexed in the search engine. The next is the uh, current uh, currentness or the uh, up to date uh, date of up to date ok. So, search engine uh, database consists of copies of web pages and other documents that were made when their uh, crawlers or spiders uh, last visited that uh, the site. So, how often the database refresh to find new pages? So, means they, they visit the web pages regularly whether it comes in a week or in a month or every year. So, that also is a important aspect. Uh, so, does the search engine claim to uh, revisit uh, sites based on some degree on how often these sites add to change or their information like whether uh, like in case of a news website whether the search engine visits that news website hourly basis or daily basis or weekly basis. So, uh, or if it is a uh, web page of a university whether the uh, search engine visits that web page uh, daily or based on a monthly basis. So, that is a uh, the degree of visit uh, is important aspect uh, and how often do their uh, crawlers update the copies of the web pages in their database whether it is updated regularly or not updated. Uh, how soon are pages included in the index after they are collected either by spiders or through submission because once they are collected they should also be included in the index. After including in the index then only it will be searched through the search engines. Then the number of uh, pages crawled per days that is how long does it, uh, does it take for uh, the search engine to update its entire index. And lastly is there the evidence of link checking that is whether the link that has been crawled whether it is a dead link or it is a out of date link. Next is uh, indexing. Uh, are there uh, the indexing purpose like are there any provisions for use of control vocabulary or not. So, based on the control if there is a control vocabulary then the indexing will be much uh, means the search uh, keywords uh, entered that will be retry better results. So, the, uh, does, it, the, does the index of the search engine uh, use a stopword list uh, how often uh, how extensive that stopword list is is it documented uh, as to what it defines as a stop word. Like if you uh, the, the stop words like the to the a and uh, this type kind of uh, stop words whether they are removing those things in the search engine index and how, wha, how extensive that list is. So, that is also is a important aspects for the search engine evaluation. Then the coverage of the uh, search engine. Uh, the types of resources indexed in the database of the search engine that is whether it includes FTP, World Wide Web, news groups uh, or uh, 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 other uh, material of like the uh, forums or other things. Are there any special criteria for inclusion? These are some of the uh, things that need to be looked after. Then the completeness of the text. Is the, is the database really a, uh, a full text or only parts of the pages are collected? Uh, whether the search engine uh, means uh, whether the search engine uh, searches uh, indexes all the content in the full text or it just uh, uh, indexes only a few pages or part of the web pages that is also an imp important aspects. And what are the elements like uh, the search engine uh, what are the indexes the title, keyword, description sub and body of the web page. Uh, or it just uh, indexes only the title and link of the web page that is also an important aspect. And next is the uh, is every word indexed that is also uh, uh, if every word is indexed then that is the complete completion uh, complete text is indexed in the search engine ok. Uh, so, next criteria is types of document covered in the uh, search engine. 
So all search engines uh, search uh, web pages. So do they have extensive uh, support for PDF, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and other format like uh, WordPerfect. So do, does, this, does they also search for those kind of documents or not? Are they full text searchable? Means uh, are they include search uh, for the full text or they just search for only those title keyword and descriptors available? Then speed and consistency uh, means how fast the search engine is and how consistent it is. Uh, do you get the different results at different times when you search for that web engine? So that's also a aspect for evaluation. Uh, then next is the capabilities of a search engine. Uh, that the, does the search engine spider have access to password protected sites? Whether so means how does they search those sites or they don't include that site? Is the spider able to follow frame links and image maps? And what does the search engine can uh, cannot search? And all search engines uh, let you enter some keywords and search in them. And what happens inside? that also need to be looked after for evaluation of a search engine and can you limit the ways that will increase your chances of finding what you are looking for means one if you are searching for a, some for some keyword and you got a thousand words and now you want to limit those thousand to 10 or 15 so how can you limit those search terms okay search results so that's also one aspect of the capability of search engine uh, and the basic search operations and the limitations that is the automatic default of and assumed between, between the words and uh, does the search engine accepts uh, uh, double quote to search phrases like we have uh, discussed in the phrase searching then is there any easy way uh, to allow for synonyms and equivalent terms uh, for searching like if you uh, search for a term and it should also give the uh, uh, synonyms uh, of that terms uh, in the search results that also whether it is available or not then advanced search options and limitations and this is also one of the evaluation criteria that can you restrict your search terms to specific fields like uh, the document title or the keywords can you restrict some words in certain fields and some other in uh, some other fields can you restrict to documents only from a certain domain like the .org domain, edu for educational websites or gov for government website, etc. Uh, can it be lim can it limit can the search engine limit to more than one or only one? Uh, can you limit uh, by type of document like you can search, whether you can search for the type of uh, only I want to search only for the PDF documents or the Excel documents. So does it support those kind of things? Uh, can you limit by language? Uh, so uh, means you can whether you want to search only for the English language uh, web pages or only the Hindi language web, web pages likewise. Uh, and how reliable and easily you can limit uh, to the uh, last updated date of the results. So this helps in retrieving the latest uh, things available on the internet for a specific topic. Uh, then the general limitations and features uh, what do you have to do to make it search or uh, on common or stoppers and maximum limit on search terms or on the search complexity and ability to search within previous search results uh, can you count on consistent results from search to search and from day to day can you customize the search or display uh, is there a family filter uh, does it work well is it easy to turn it on or uh, turn it off? So these kind of features whether available in the search engine or not. So now let, now let's uh, talk about some important search engines that are currently available. Uh, there are hundreds of search engines on the internet and more uh, are being created every day. So according to a uh, Comscore report in April 2004, 66.6% .6 of searches were powered by Google and 18.5% were by Microsoft followed by Yahoo with 10% of searches. So uh, Google one of the is one of the most important search engine uh, and Google is the largest and most preferred search engine for today's internet users handling billions of search queries every day. 
it was developed by larry page and sergey brin uh, two phd students of stanford university so google became uh, for many the preeminent web search engine since it was launched in 1999 its database besides uh, web pages includes options for additional file types such as pdf uh, postscripts uh, .doc .xls .txt uh, .ppt .rtf .asp .wpd and more options uh, more file types the google also have a database of images usenet news group and videos google supports the boolean searching proximity searching field searching a limit to the file type language domain character encoding and numbers and number range searching uh, next is the bing search uh, bing is the search engine launched by microsoft in may 2009 uh, it was known previously as the live search windows live search and msn search Uh, the early version provided results from Inktomi, LookSmart, Alta Vista. Later, it was update, updated by Microsoft to provide search results from its own search engine. Uh, in early 2006, uh, Microsoft launched the Windows Live Search and it replaced the MSN Search by late 2006. Bing is available in many languages and can be integrated in various other app sites like Hotmail, Facebook, and Apple, etc. Yahoo Yahoo is one of the best known and most popular internet portals uh, originally it was just a subject directory and it is now a search engine directory and portal uh, Yahoo supports boolean searching proximity searching field searching uh, limits to language domain and date and the file type and country of origin and the type of content adult content or general content uh, so in conclusion uh, we have discussed about the search engine uh, in detail and what are the types uh, so search engines have their uh, own methods of organizing information so this chapter is basically divided divide search engines into five categories that is the primary search engine meta search engine and specialized search engine web directories and hybrid search engine so the uh, in this chapter also elaborates step up in the criteria for choosing the search engines and the method for evaluation of search engine Uh, also uh, it elaborates on use of meta tags on the web pages to describe it and how the search engines use them for indexing the website uh, it also describes the criteria of, uh, that are uh, deployed to access the success of a search engine and lastly we have discussed about the few important search engines